I absolutely love coffee <laughs> and it's a problem. What I'm currently loving in here. A little similar. I have been eyeing this fragrance, but y'all. Hey guys, welcome back. So we are about to talk about all of my current favorites, all of my obsessions, things I'm currently obsessed with. So it's gonna be a little bit different this time. Obviously you guys can see that is we're in vlog style today. And I got this, well, I was actually inspired by, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was inspired by Jessica Braun. I love how she did, oh, I hope I said her last name right. I'm so sorry, Jessica, if you're watching. But um, I was inspired by her style of favorites videos. So basically she showed all the things that she was currently loving and obsessed with, but in each part of her house, I guess. Um, instead of just sitting there and having everything in front of her and just showing the product, she just basically went in each room and just shared the things that she has been loving for the month. So that is what we're about to do today. I'm already in the beauty room, so I guess I'll show y'all what I'm currently loving. Now I did put the stuff to the side, so that way I won't be, you know, trying to reach for everything and spending too much time trying to do that. So let me set you guys up. And we're gonna talk about what I'm currently loving in here. Now that I think about it, this is gonna be so freaking easy because like I said earlier, I'm not trying to get everything in one spot to film this video. So the things I've been loving and obsessed with in my beauty room, obviously it's gonna be makeup, but um, a few lip products that I wanted to update y'all on and also just share with you guys in general. So the Dior Lip Maximizer, this is the one that I shared in my Sephora haul back when Sephora was having their sale. And surprisingly, I've been reaching for this more than I thought I would because I know when I tried it out in the video, I wasn't like wowed by it because it was like, you know, just a basic little shimmery color. But I really like the shine that this gives. This is in the shade 103. I think online it said something about... Um, Oh no, the shade is online, but the number is 103 and it's just a really pretty gold glittery gloss. Now this is a lip maximizer, so it is um, gonna kind of give you that plumping effect, but it's not gonna, like it's not gonna burn your lips, but this is how the color looks. It's just a really pretty frost. No, I wouldn't describe it as a frosty shimmer, but um, I guess I can put a little bit on since I don't really have much on the lips today. So it's just gonna give me a nice little shine on the lips and I like the smell. It smells kind of minty. But yeah, the Dior Lip Maximizer, I'll have the shade name down below in the description. Let me adjust my wig, child. Okay. And then, okay, speaking of gloss, Sephora. The Sephora Collection Lip Gloss in the shade Coffee Date. This is the prettiest, prettiest natural brown gloss. It's actually what I had on my lips before putting on the Dior. And I'm gonna show y'all a little swatch of it. Such a pretty natural, soft, chocolatey brown. I am obsessed with this gloss, y'all. This has been in my purse. Anytime I carry a purse, I just throw it in there. And I also like, oh, by the way, it's not sticky at all. Um, it's very uh, creamy. Like it has like that I don't know if you guys have tried the Fenty gloss bombs it kind of has that same texture but it's not sticky it's it's just super creamy and glossy on the lips so yeah just so y'all know what it you know feels like if you want to try it out and then okay this is like I don't know why I stopped using this and I don't even think I've told you guys about this on my channel I don't think I have but I've had this for a while like this is a lip product that I used to always 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 keep in my purse and also in the nightstand yes I know that's random but this is um it's called lip water it's from the brand Lena lips and it's supposed to be one of those lip products that you put on your lips when you feel like you're licking your lips too much or if you feel like your lips are too dry but you don't want to put on a lip gloss or a lip balm you want something kind of in between but at the same time you don't want it to feel like you have a lip gloss or a lip 
or lip balm on your lips. You, are you getting me? Am I making any sense? It has like a watery texture, but it's not as, ah, ugh, ugh. it's so hard to explain this product, but it has a really, um, like, non-sticky, thin, watery texture, but look at the color of it, y'all. It's a purple iridescent and it looks so cute on the lips. It doesn't really like rub off on my pillowcase because like I said, I did use, um, I used to always keep this in my nightstand by the bed, but I don't know. It's just something about this lip product that is, I feel like that's needed. Like, I feel like everybody needs this. If you don't want to, you know, keep applying lip glosses or lip balms just to um, moisturize your lips. But I don't know, girl. I just had to share uh, share this with you guys because, like I said, I don't think I've ever shared this on my channel, but this is definitely a staple lip product that I've used for, I don't even know when they came out with this, but I have been using this for a long time. It's just a good lip product to have by your bed if you have dry lips or if you feel like you're licking your lips too much and you just need something on the lips, but you don't want to have anything else that's too, that's thicker than this on the lips. I don't know, but definitely been loving it. I wanted to share it with you guys because like I said, I don't think I've ever shared that with you all. Um, okay, the Makeup Forever Brow Pencil. This is another recent purchase at Sephora and this is uh, it's the Aqua Resist Brow Definer. It's definitely have been a brow pencil that I've been reaching for more than my Anastasia Brow Wiz. I think I like this one a little bit more now that I've been using it some more. Um, well, now that I've been using it more and more, I like this brow pencil way more than the Anastasia because how it applies and how it, I don't want to say how it lasts because I feel like all brow pencils with well, the ones that I've used, I don't really have an issue with them lasting throughout the day. Like they, they last, like they don't rub off. I mean, obviously if I wipe my hand over my brows, it's going to probably rub off, but I haven't had any issues with any brow pencils, but I don't know. I just like how this applies. I like how it looks on the brows. That's what I have on today. And yeah, and I use the shade dark brown, which I love. It's so weird, y'all. It says dark brown on the pencil, but online it says black brown, but it's number 50. So if you, you know, can't find dark brown online, it's number 50. And I think I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. So I haven't really been doing bronzer on my lid lately. I mean, I used to do it all the time. So I started back and I've been trying out the House Labs bronzer on the lid. And I can say, like I can honestly say, I think I like this on my lids more than I do my Fenty Matte Bronzer in the shade Mocha Mommy. Y'all know I used to use that all, all, all the time. But this one looks, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a little different. It's not as red as Mocha Mommy and it just looks more, I'd say more natural. It's what I have on the lids today. It's like a natural soft color and I like it more on the lids than I do the Fenty. But yeah, I really been enjoying this bronzer and I also like it all over the face. But as far as like eyeshadow, like if I want something super quick and easy, I've been reaching for this one from House Labs and I use the shade Deep Level 11. And y'all, I think that's actually all that I wanted to share like that's in my vanity. Everything else, I mean, I've been using the same products. <laughs> Every time I do my makeup, it's the same products, girl. I've been using my Elf Cosmetics Concealer as my concealer all the time. Like, I haven't really been wearing foundation, but I will say, I will say the House Labs foundation has been it. Like this, if I want to put on foundation, this is the one I've been reaching for. And this is gonna be the foundation that I would reach for more this time of the year, like the fall and winter. Probably not spring and summer because it it kind of gives me that luminous, like it, it's, it's kind of glowy on the skin. At least for me, like every time I wear this, my skin looks pretty dewy. So I have to make sure that I'm setting my face with, um, you know, a good mattifying powder if I don't want my face to look too dewy. But this is definitely a go-to for this time of year for me. And I love it. This is in the shade 460. But yeah, girl. This is everything I wanted to share with you guys in my vanity because like I said, I mean, I've been using the same other same products on the face 
when I do my makeup. I have a couple of um, new products that I wanna try out in another like get ready with me. So I'm excited about that. But now let's go to my closet. All right, welcome to my closet. So in here I keep all of my fragrances and I have been obsessed with this one right here. The milk is the commodity milk y'all uh, this is very 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 different for me because i don't really lean towards a lot of like spicy scents but this one is like it's spicy in the best way like it has notes of marshmallow in it and honestly i feel like that itself is probably what's saving it because it's what what i mean by saving it is I mean, that's probably what's making me like the fragrance um, because one of my favorite fragrances is Princess by Killian. Yeah, Killian Princess. And y'all, when I say that mixed with this, and I did say in the video that I felt like this will probably pair well. I think I said it, or I think I commented that because I think somebody had said something in the comments and I was like, yeah, I've been wearing it with print. I think that's what it was. Um, but girl, this paired with Killian Princess. And when I say, you need one spray of this just one spray because this is a very 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 strong perfume it's actually unisex so men can wear it as well but i have been really loving this and a little bit of this goes a very long way because it is so so strong so i have worn it a few times by itself but personally i like mixing it with my princess killian um perfume and this is a new bottle um their new bottle y'all know it used to come in like the little um snow globe type bottle but yeah this is the new one but these two i really 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 love so princess is sweeter much sweeter than the commodity milk but this if you like those deep sexy with a little bit of spice scent i think you'll like this because it's it's very um warm and smoky and i just feel like it's just like the best winter fragrance if you want to you know smell cozy and warm with a little spice to it you know so yeah if you already have commodity milk and if you already have princess killian mix them together and come back to this video and let me know your thoughts because i haven't really heard anyone talk about well i've heard people talk about the commodity milk and princess obviously but i haven't really heard anyone saying that they mix them together saying that they mix them together but yeah just one little spray of this and then top it off with the um princess killian because this is very very warm and sweet in my opinion and this one is very warm with a little with a little kick to it but they both are really nice fragrances for the fall and winter time so definitely been enjoying these and i've also been loving this truly scent now this is a i don't know what i want to wear i don't know what type of fragrance i want to wear but i want to wear something this is the scent that I'm reaching for when I feel like that. Like when I want something sweet, when I want something cozy and sugary, but not too sweet and too sugary, <laughs> this is it. It smells so good. I have the body cream and I love it. So, and that's honestly why I got this because I love the scent of the body cream. But yeah, it's um, the Truly Unicorn Fruit. So it's really nice and cozy and sweet and comforting. Um, so if you're into that, uh, I think you will really like this fragrance but she's cute and she also smells really really cute okay I had to run over there and get the new Kayali fragrance because I know some of you have been asking me about this freaking perfume so I recently got this NPR and I was so excited about it y'all y'all when I say I saw this well I didn't even know what it was until I opened the box but when I say I screamed because I have been like this is I have been eyeing this fragrance but y'all she's cute she smells good but not as good as Kayali 28 like this is it this is the scent of all scents from Kayali in my personal opinion well mm, I wouldn't even say all that because I have another fragrance from Kayali that I also like just as much as my Vanilla 28. But anyway, I just wanted to say if you um, if you like Vanilla 28 by Kayali and you also like spicy, like a spicy vanilla, 
you will like this one. This one definitely has a kick to it. It's, um, yeah, it's very, very, very grown and sexy. Like, this is grown and sexy, like, nighttime, date night scent, and I don't know. I just still like, I just still like the Vanilla 28 more because it's sweeter much sweeter than the new Kayali Royale. Now that we're in the bathroom, let's talk about my favorite products that I keep in here, starting with skincare. And I know I've already shared this with y'all in a vlog, so if you haven't watched any of my vlogs, or if you don't watch vlogs, um, I shared this. This is the Urban, Urban Skin RX Retinol Rapid Repair and Dark Spot Treatment. This stuff right here is the truth, okay? Like, it's pretty strong it does say to use two to three times a week um starting out and i have been doing that for the past few weeks when i first started using it i had a couple of um dark spots from me picking up breakouts so that's why i wanted to try to you know see if this worked and this works wonders on my skin like my skin has improved tremendously around my forehead area and also around um, my chin and also around my nose because i did have a few breakouts that left um marks but yeah it's a retinol so um you want to make sure that you're using sunscreen when you use it which i do um and it's just been so so good so i recently ran out of the um even tone cleansing cleansing bar that i also shared in one of my vlogs but i did purchase dang it it's in the shower hold on let me get it this is why <laughs> it's so much easier doing the favorites video like this but uh yeah i purchased these urban skin rx clean skin cleansing bar and this is um a little similar <laughs> water just went everywhere but it's a little similar to the other cleansing bar that i was telling you guys about the other one comes in a blue um container but this is also a three is the other one a three in one treatment I think it is but this is a three-in-one treatment so this is going to really 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 clean this uh the face this leaves my skin kind of squeaky like it kind of feels like it stripped the skin in a way but it's so good it is such a good cleanser so um it just looks like this and i always use my dosa color sponge to um you know use with it and i use this with all of my cleansers all of my face cleansers and i still get questions about this sponge so it's from dose of colors if you are wondering but i love this cleanser and i like how um my skin is doing now that i have been using the um urban skin rx products this moisturizer which is also from urban urban skin rx is the radiant and bright glowing moisturizer with vitamin c this is what i've been using in the daytime and I love how it makes my skin glowy. Um, I'm gonna pump a little on my hand so y'all can see how fast it absorbs. See that? And it definitely gives you a nice glow to the skin. And it smells citrusy too, which is really nice. Kind of smells like oranges. Um, oranges came to mind first because the packaging is orange, but it definitely does smell like oranges. But I've really been enjoying this and I'm li like, I'm liking the products from this brand. <laughs> I really do. I kind of want to try some more products out but um another product that i keep in my bathroom is this right here this is the olive and june heal balm overnight treatment this is what i put on my feet every night after i get out of the shower like once i start putting on my lotions and stuff i put this on my feet and then i cover uh, my feet up with uh i don't have them in here they're actually in the laundry right now but they're the um half socks like they cook they only just cover the heel but anyway this heel balm has probably been the best heel balm or heel moisturizer whatever you want to call it that i've tried ever and that says a lot like the loxetine um one they have a really 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 good one for the heels but i actually like this one more this is just um you can see i've been y'all hold on let me see if i can twist i can't even twist it down i'm gonna show y'all how much i've been using hold on we are already at the little y'all know how like when you use a chapstick that thing in the middle starts showing that's how much i've been using and a little bit of this goes a very long way so let me show you what it looks like on my finger so it's very um oily but it absorbs really nicely into the heel and if you have cracked 
but cracked heels, dry heels. This is literally a game changer. Another thing that I keep here in the bathroom is my Fenty Skin Body Drip Drop, Body Drop, Shimmering Oil, Body Cream Oil. This junk right here. I'm not gonna say I like it more than the original one because I actually like them equally, but the new one, the smell, the glow that you get from this is in Saying, I really wish that they came out with this in the spring and summer because I feel like it made more sense to do that because it has like gold shimmer in it. But when I say this literally smells like, oh, it smells so good, like a gingerbread cookie or a cinnamon roll. It just smelled so freaking good. I just want to eat it up. But I ended up getting a couple more because um, I'm currently getting all my gifts situated. <laughs> So I wanna definitely gift um, one of those to a few people that I know, but definitely love that. I am obsessed with that. That's actually all that I wanted to share that I keep in the bathroom for now. So let's go downstairs. Actually, before I leave out the room, I wanted to share this book that I just grabbed off of my nightstand. It's the Twisted, um, well, it's called Twisted Love by Anna Hung. I'm pretty sure I said the last name wrong, but um, love this book. Oh my gosh. This is actually a, um, it's book one. They have book two, which is called Twisted, no, Twisted Games. Book three is called Twisted Hate. And then book four is called Twisted Lies. When I say I'm going to be on the hunt, for those other three books because this book is so 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 good to me it's almost like i'm reading a colleen hoover colleen hoover book in a way because how um the characters are in it uh i can't say too much about this book because i feel like i'm gonna definitely give it away um but if you read the back of it you'll probably get a you'll get a hint of how the book is and how it's probably gonna go but uh yeah i have been in loving this book and the book light up here this is from um amazon and i i got this book from target but obviously you can get it from the bookstore but i wanted to show y'all what i'm currently reading what i'm currently loving and obsessed with and i'm definitely going to get the other books because i cannot get enough of this one and i'm only like halfway through the book like i'm not even done with it but just from what i've read I feel like I'm gonna really like the other books um, that she has. All right guys, we're currently at the kitchen counter where the sink is and I wanted to share my current favorite coffee situation. So if you have been a long time follower, you know I am a coffee addict, whether that's iced coffee, hot coffee, black coffee, sweet coffee. I absolutely love coffee. <laughs> and it's a problem but this situation happened kind of on accident because i ran out of my cold brew but i had this and i was like let me just try it this way to see if i like it more than the cold brew that i always get which is the stoke cold brew so i've been using this starbucks house blend coffee this is medium roast i like either the medium or dark roast um so i use this I put it in my, I'm not even going to say the word because I know I'm going to butcher it, but this cute little um, espresso maker from, it's Groche, a Groche, Groche, I don't know, but I make it in this. So basically you twist the bottom off and then you put your coffee, um, the ground coffee in it um and water and then you just put it on the stove let it you know boil and then the coffee comes up right here in this part and you just pour it over in your cup put it in my coffee mug put the coffee mug in the freezer so that way it can cool off because one thing i cannot stand is putting hot coffee over ice that right there dilutes your coffee like your coffee is it might as well be water so that's why i put it in the you know the hot coffee in the freezer let it sit there get cold um and then after i do that i grab my current favorite creamer which is by silk it's the dairy free oat creamer and this is literally all i put in it i don't put any added sugar i don't put anything else just the black coffee and a little bit of this and i'm good now sometimes if i want a little more extraness to it i'll put a little whipped cream on top with a little um caramel drizzle 
but when I say I don't think I need to go back to any of the cold brew because making this I mean I know it is a few extra steps um, it takes time especially if the coffee is not already made um, it does take time if I want the coffee right then and there but I will say I like this as my iced coffee more than I do my Stoke cold brew that y'all know I love but yeah this is my current coffee situation that I have been absolutely loving um y'all okay that is actually all that I have for today's favorites video um these are the things that I've been using lately that I've been obsessed with that I wanted to share with you guys um let me know if you like this style of video again I got this inspiration from Jessica Jessica Braun. I will have her channel linked in the description or the video that she did link in the description so you guys can check her out. Um, yeah, so that is all I have, girl. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today while I shared some of my current favorites. The sun is going down, so I need to hurry up. Um, so yeah, thank you for hanging out with me while I shared all of my current favorites. If you guys enjoyed, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already, and I will see you guys in my next one.